Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be hanging this TV on the wall. I did the one in the bedroom like twice. Um, I did it with our old TV and then with our new TV. I'm going to do this one. Um, that's where she wants it. She wants it up a little higher. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, I'm going to have to move the fireplace out and I got to take that TV. I'm going to put it over here on the couch. We're going to take the stand off, and I got a couple different options on how to hang it. It's got a hanger on the back, but I can't find the plate for the wall part of it. So I have one complete set over here. I think we'll work on it. So um, I'm going to go ahead, take this down, and then um, we'll get everything we need put onto that TV, get it ready to go up, and then we'll find the studs. Okay, so to take the stand off, there's going to be four screws, it looks like, right in here. We're going to take the stand off. This is what I was talking about here, and I'll show you in a minute about the wall plate. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> and why the one I've got I don't think will work. But anyway, let me get you set up and try to get you some light on the subject here. Okay guys, again I got some bad lighting, but here is a wall plate that as you can tell hasn't been used in a long time, um, but as you can see it doesn't come all the way down to here, so I do have a complete one here which needs to be cleaned up as well. I think um, we'll have to see, but I think it will work on here. Yeah, it should. <clears throat> so I'm going to get this cleaned off. I'm going to wipe down the TV and get it all cleaned off. But first, let's just go ahead and take this uh, stand off the bottom. Just going to do that. Loosen it by hand. <clears throat> then we'll get the screw gun, make it a little quicker, but I will never run it into plastic or anything like that with a screw gun for obvious reasons. Now I don't know about the studs on that wall. So I might only be able to get to go to one stud, but it'll hold it. Oops. Now, screws out of here again bad lighting guys whoops sorry might sometimes just these will come off but funny when I was taking it out. Yeah, they don't even, I don't know. And the last one. There we go. 
and this also comes off and you can bolt these stands down too okay so let me get this wiped off well let me see what do we got to get to take this off of here um, that one wasn't even tight neither was that one none of them was real tight that one was okay now I'm gonna get this wiped down cleaned up and then we'll put our other sections on so we can get ready to hang the base on the wall okay guys I decided this looks pretty bad once I got it in better light it's rusted I don't know it came from her dad's but I don't remember this one being used so I think it may have been in the garage I don't know so I'm just going to give it a quick coat of paint and let it dry make it look a little better even though no one sees it I mean still if it's rusting like that now I don't want it to do more so I'm just gonna paint these pieces up real quick just a quick light coat and then um, then once it dries then we'll find the studs in the wall I may go ahead and find the studs and mark this I'm not sure or mark the wall where I'm gonna put this I don't know yet but let me go ahead and get some paint on these items. I, I don't know if the other ones are going to need it or not, but I do got to find two screws for it. So that's all we're doing now. All right, while we're waiting on that paint to dry, I got to move this out anyway, so let's go ahead and move this out. So I can sweep behind there. big dead spider in the back of that we just had this apart remember to uh we had to change the fuse in it right there's the fuse so i'm gonna see if i can pop that out of there all right let me get this swept up hopefully that spider's dead <laughs> okay guys so we're gonna try to find some studs in this wall Um, she kind of wants these holes covered up so the TV's going up kind of high and she wants to put some stuff on the on the uh, mantle of the fireplace I just got a magnet here see there's the the edge trim now let's see if we can find find a stud I'd like to have one right in this area here. What it'll do is it'll hook onto a nail, you know, kind of like it does over that. Just not a solid, but it will hook onto a nail. And usually, or a screw, I should say, usually if there's a screw that's covered up and painted, that's probably the drywall screw. I do have a stud finder in there, but the battery's dead in it. It was, it was old Joe's. Sometimes you can still, there's one. See how that just stuck. Here, let me, let me put you up. Shoot. Sorry. Okay. Where was that? Right there. There's a stud right there. Let me zoom in a little bit. So, right in here, wherever it was, right there, 
See how it just went right to it? Here, let me hold that up there. I'll zoom you in a little bit more. So you can see what it does. And just run this across your wall just like I've been doing. Sometimes it takes a while, but you can see when you get to a screw, it'll stop. If you have a really good magnet, they work better. So I'm just going to put a little mark there. That is a stud. Now, I'm probably going to, uh, what I'm going to do is because this is not going to be in the dead center of the wall because of the layout of this house. So, uh, that's one. I'm going to see if I can find another one. But uh, I'll definitely go in, you know, to one stud. And then I can put anchors on each side of that stud and couple down at the bottom. So, but let me see if I can find another stud. Um, I know these studs, <coughs> excuse me, they're not spaced out the way they're supposed to be. So, let me find, let me see if I can find another stud there and we'll see if that, if this, it's going to be long enough for that TV. And I think it is going to be. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and put these on. There we go. Something like that. Now in the back of your TV, all these flat screens have four holes and they're threaded. And I didn't check to see if these will fit. Yeah, they'll fit. Yeah, they came out of here, right? Yeah, okay. Um, you'll see four threaded holes. Now sometimes they'll have a plastic plug in there covering the holes up, but that's what you're going to screw these screws down into. Now with different hanging systems, you may be able to raise this up and down more, like the ones that was on there, which was overkill. As you can see, there's more, more of a variety. But that, those, that was overkill, so I'm not going to use them ones. I'm going to use these ones. And these do screw into the metal frame of the TV. Because they have to be pretty tight, pretty solid, you know. Because you're hanging a TV on the wall. Though these TVs aren't very heavy, but still. I think these may might be why they were loose. They they seem awful loose. Yeah, they're a little uh, little strip. So I'm gonna see if I can. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can do something about that so they'll tighten up better. Yeah, see that one doesn't want to tight. Tighten. Neither does that one. This is the only one that was tight. Okay. So I'm going to mess around with that. See what I can do to get these tightened up. Maybe put a washer on it. Or something. Sometimes if you intentionally bugger these threads up, they'll go in tighter. Yeah, see, once, once it gets up to the top there, you can see a difference in the screws or the threads. So sometimes you can like take a pair of pliers and booger these threads up and it'll fit tighter. I may do that, but usually what I do is something like this. What I'll probably do is wrap some, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably just wrap some, um, thread sealing tape, Teflon tape around there and usually that'll that'll all keep them tight so let me make sure I can get these tightened so the TV don't fall off the wall or something okay so I just went and found me some different bolts um, these are metric and the bolts that was in it 
or standard. So that's why they didn't fit. So the thread pitch was a little different on them. These ones went in fine, they're solid. Nothing's gonna come falling off the wall. So I got this. I think this is the top. Yeah, this is the top. It's gonna go on like that. This is gonna get mounted to the wall. Uh, so then you can move this where you need it to be. I got a couple screws that I found. I got my stainless steel stash. I hate using it on pet using stainless steel on petty stuff like this, but well, you know, the stuff was left to me to use, so I'm going to use it because that's all I have. <laughs> so, and then you'll tighten this up, and once once these screws are tightened up here, the bottom won't come off. So, we'll I'll go ahead and get these started like that. That way they're in there once we get the TV up on the wall, but. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this on the wall and get it mounted to the wall where we want it. I'm going to do some measuring and then we'll go up and mark the wall where we need, need our stuff to be. So this is top. So what I got to do is measure from this to the top of the TV. I'm just eyeballing it. Don't have to be perfect. I mean, I could go like this if I wanted to. Yeah, 11 inches. All right, so that's where this is going to be, to the top of here. And she wants those holes where pictures had been hanging before kind of covered up. <coughs> so wherever I put this at on the wall, I just got to make sure that there's going to be you know somewhere between 0 and 11 inches should cover those holes so let me get you set up over here okay so just somewhere like 11 inches the the mount would be about right there so I want to go up a little bit um, where's my mark because I done I wiped my mark off once I cleaned the wall and wiped my mark off so let's put it let's go with 10 inches so that gives me an inch above them holes and I know that's a stud there so let me grab our thing like I said the center one will go into a stud that's not a big deal and then I'll put an anchor here and an anchor here and probably one there and one there but right now so yeah we should be all right so what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a screw right right through that and then we'll measure from the ceiling down I never measure from the floor up because I did that a couple times finally learned my lesson that the floor is not always level but up there it's more pleasing to the eye so if you get this level with the ceiling because you're usually looking up at pictures and whatnot that'll catch your eye more so that's what I always do um, so yeah I just threw some paint on this guys I didn't I didn't sandblast it and primer it and wet sand it and base coat it and clear coat it and I, I didn't do that it's 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 a it's a TV holder thing <laughs> I, I'm not even gonna measure from the ceiling down what I'm gonna do is I am going to just put a level on it okay this is not the screw that's going to be staying in here this is just to hold it so I can get some marks hit a screw. I did. Uh-oh. Somebody's lying to me here. There we go. Alright, now my pencil. 
and then these will be like that. I could just measure that. I'll measure it and then I'll get a, and then I'll check it with a level. Looks like 23 and a quarter. Wow, that's almost perfect. That's almost perfect. Let me get a level. I just want to see how close I am to that. I didn't even know you guys were down that. I'm sorry. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's pretty much... It's passable. Whoops. That's not... So, now, just out of curiosity, we're 23 and a quarter, yeah, 23 and a quarter, 23 and a quarter, good. Alright, now I'm going to mark the holes, let's see, I'm going to put one right here, Second one over, I'm going to put one right here, second one over in the center. And then I think, and I think I'm going to put the same way. Second one over, second one over. Alright, I'm going to punch a hole in there. I'm going to get some, um, I got some, um, anchors over here I'll put these on top these are kind of kind of big so but I gotta make sure the screw head yeah that'd be alright I might find some get a couple washers to put on here but okay so there's that now uh, I'm gonna take that out and we'll put some holes and we'll start putting some anchors in and you should always I probably should have mentioned this but you should always check make sure there's nothing in here I know there's nothing in this wall on this section so it should be alright I shouldn't hit any water lines or electrical wires or anything like that might be a stud which would be I don't top one wasn't so it's only 11 inches anyway so I'm not sure what's going on there I don't know if somebody's put a patch here I don't know. Pretty damp day today. It's been sprinkling on and off, so um, that's why that kind of stuck. All right, let me make that a little bit bigger. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Hmm. But I know this one's fine. I'm not sure. I 
All right, well, that's, that's a stud. Well, I don't know if it's a stud, but I can just put a regular screw into that one. So, I gotta grab my other screwdriver, and I'm not sure what I did with it. Hang on. Okay, as soon as I hit the button, of course, I found it. I looked right at it as soon as I cut you guys off. It's up on the counter. Just got a wood screw here, so I'm going into two studs. And we've got drywall anchors, so I think everything's going to be all right. I need to get two more of those, right? Uh, no, those ones don't go in there. I'm going to go on the bottom. These two go up here. Make sure we're level again here. There's money. All right. All right, good. Now, my put this one in first. I didn't need those, uh, I didn't need washers, so. This thing is not going anywhere. I don't like this one. Okay, let me get a little bigger screw. This one might be overkill, but let's see if it'll work. I mean, like I said, I've got two in studs, and then these two are anchored really, really well, so. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the anchor's turning. All right. I'm going to pull this back down. I'll save you from that. And I'm going to put a different anchor in there. And I'll put it back up. I'll get back with you. On second thought, I think I'm going to leave that one. I know there's a stud here. So... That's, that's not going anywhere. Uh, I check my phone. Monkey had to take her mom out to the hospital. She very low blood pressure. They did an EKG and okay, mama. Alright. So and they're giving her a bag of water. Alright, I'll be back with you. I'm getting ready to hang that TV up there and we'll see if we cover up them holes. Um the center of the TV. It's 21 inches, so that should cover that hole too. But all right, guys, hang on. Okay, guys, I've got on the back. I've got these hooks pulled all the way out, so that way it'll be easier to catch. It's a lot easier with two people. That's for sure. on the right part. You can tighten that to where that TV is not. Yeah, we're in there pretty good. Uh, 
Yeah, you can adjust that to where that TV's not a, like to where it's flat or whatever. I'll just wait until she gets home. All right, now I'm going to put those screw those bottom screws up in. I might have to go get a longer screwdriver. Yeah, I'm going to go get a longer screwdriver. So what I did was just kind of snug them up. I can, when she gets home, I'll have her sit on the couch and see if she wants it kind of straight up or if she wants it down. I would imagine they probably want it down like that. But then, once it gets its final adjustment, then we'll, uh, then I'll go ahead and tighten these screws in the back again. But, so I don't know exactly how she's going to want it, but... Let's get it plugged in. This might take me a minute. Because I forget where the plug is. There it is. Well, I got to plug my hand, but I mean, the plug hole. And then later on, I'll probably do like I did on the TV in the bedroom and run the wires really this is the only wire it's it's got right now is the power wire so all right let me get the remote we'll kick this on and see how it looks from over there i gotta wipe it down too again because i got all my little paw prints on it okay now i'm gonna push this back in here this is light Plug it back in. I wipe this all down with some stuff she's got. The end dust. This stuff. Pretty good stuff. I don't know what that is, but it ain't coming off. That ain't perfect. Crap, I think it just made it worse. Alright. Let me get something on the TV. Well, not on it, but we'll turn the TV on. Can't turn on YouTube because that's a Samsung TV and they did away with the YouTube app. It actually has a YouTube app on it, but it will not work. Boy, that stuff does a good job. I need to wipe the coffee table down with it, but first I got some glue I got to get off of it because Monkey sprayed some glue for a picture or something one time, and and uh, I told her don't do that. It's going to get on the table. Now it'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's um. Let's kick this on. And see what we can bring up. Now she she just usually watches Netflix with this. Um, so I gotta, let me see. I gotta figure out how to use this thing. Um, it's just, uh, it's a smart TV, but like I said, it works great. But if we ever upgrade our TV in our bedroom, we talked about this, the one in the bedroom, it's 65 inch diagonal. It's gonna come out here. And if I put that out here, I might flush mount that. that I think that would be cool. Um, let me see. I don't know if it's source I need to go to. That's AV. 
That's what she goes to. And then she, she'll watch Netflix. And Netflix should come up. Yep, there it is. All right. So, cool. <coughs> All right. And I don't know what she's going to put on top of the uh, fireplace, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it does look good, and that stuff shined it up pretty good. Uh, get this on. I gotta oil that up. I never did. It started making a little noise um, last year. Yeah, so that's cool. All right, well, since there's nothing on it, I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know. I might oil that up. Give me a minute to think about it. All right, guys, so there it is. This will be upcoming sometime, not in the very near future, but I want to put a new screen in this. <clears throat> it's an Asus. It's Windows 7, but it's upgraded to a Windows 10. This fell off the roof of a car. This was her dad's, and that's how that got burned. But it still works. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. Hopefully, you guys are... <laughs> hopefully, you'll have a great Thanksgiving. And uh, hopefully, your night's going well and your week's going well. So... Um, I ordered something, so it's, it should be here Monday, and, um, they're still out the hospital with her mom, so, she's gotta, she's gotta run over to Walmart real quick while her mom's at the hospital, you know, they're waiting on tests and all that stuff, so anyway, but you know what I find out in an upcoming video, and I'll probably film something for you guys tomorrow, maybe later tonight, I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the Myth, Man, Legend. I'm gone for now. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye and happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Yeah. Down. I'm gonna take these groceries in and put them away and I'm doing